Okay, let's try another one. This one is going to uh, maybe be a little more challenging because of some fractions that I know that nobody likes, but we need to practice using them. So our directions are, we're going to write the equation of a line having this slope going through this point, and then we're going to graph it. Now I want us to write the equation in slope-intercept form, but when we write equations, we do not start that way. Remember, any time you write an equation, you're always going to start with y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is how we write equations each and every time. Now if you need to, make sure that you label the x1, y1 above your point so that you'll know exactly where to plug things in. So we're going to um, insert in place of y1 our negative 2. So this would be y minus the negative 2 instead of y1 equals Instead of our slope, we're going to use negative 7 halves and then times x minus instead of x1, we're going to be plugging in a 7 in that slot. Now, as always, we should always take care of those double negatives and make those a positive instead of just thinking of them that way. We actually go ahead and write it out. And I'm going to go ahead and do the distribution here because remember we're supposed to be writing this equation in slope intercept form so that's we want to solve it for y eventually so negative 7 halves times x is negative 7 halves x negative 7 halves times negative 7 would be a positive 49 over 2 now we are almost in y-intercept form, except we need to get y completely alone. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides to remove it from the left. So now we have y equals negative 7 halves x. This is going to be hard, though, to deal with. We've got a positive 49 halves and a negative 2. So I want to change negative 2 into a fraction so that I can combine it with that 49 halves. So I want a common denominator, which would be 2. So think about it, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I'm going to change 2 into 4 halves. And now, positive 49 halves minus 4 halves is a positive 45 halves. Now that is in perfect y inter slope intercept form. Now we're supposed to also graph this and because this is a fraction for our y intercept it's going to be a little bit more difficult to actually go through and, and plot 45 halves. I mean you think about you know 40, 45 halves is um, going to be what? Um, like, uh, you know, for a whole bunch. <laughs> We're not even, sorry, I'm getting distracted here by the lab. But don't let that stop you. I mean, I know that you're sitting there probably at this exact moment going, I have no idea how to, how to do this. We could turn it into a mixed number and, and, and find out what it is. But because it's a half, we're going to be in the center of one of these uh, nice um, tick marks here. But we still can graph this. Remember that they originally gave us a point and a slope. We can always graph any line off of just that point and that slope. So how about if we plot our point first of 7, negative 2. So we're going to go over here, positive 7 and down 2. And then from that, we can move the slope to give us our next point. Now, I like to keep the negative with the top. So when we think of rise over run, I want to look at this as going down 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then over 2, running 2. So that would put my next point right here at the point 9, negative 9. Now we can graph the line between there and we've still completed.